family and friends, happy Saturday to you. Well, let's continue. Let's continue um, sharing um, music. And um, I've watched some other videos besides the group of people that have been um, pretty intensely sharing on the vibe that was, it's been, um, it's mutated, I think, really, you know, Chris 4127 Basket and Big Star 1000 um, actually may have really <laughs> been the, the true um, original uh, bumps in the road that got, at least got got me more interested and then then Dave Prague and Jasmine and um, John Coltrane 68 coming back it's just been a wonderful mix of energy but I wanted to share that I'm I do and did and still watch other videos of people who are not necessarily on the same vibe as us and I leave comments because everyone is important and um, this is where this is where my interest lies but I support everyone, and uh, the VC is just is very special. The idea of the VC is very special, and it's it's our it's we keep it alive, you know. We keep it alive. No one can take that from us. So um, I just watched Big Star One Thousand. Um, again, I'm loving the vibe. I'm gonna just sort of piggyback on that a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna make a very long video this morning, um, but um, some French and European stuff that I just pulled to show and talk about um, a couple of repeats, but mostly some things that folks haven't shown yet. I'm listening to Patrick Vianne, Bruit et Ton Analogue. And this is an interesting album on the, is this on Egg? Yeah, this is on Egg. I uh, didn't look at Patrick Vianne's background. At one time I knew and I have forgotten. But this is an interesting album with a mixture of this percussion sort of thing and then um, held unlike electronics. Love that cover too. Something that's not re French related but I wanted to show it because I plan to play it at length today. It's something I bought and I just need to really dive into. It's a Wawa issue of this uh, rare Spanish prog band called Ohm. Check that cover out. Now, when I came across this in the store um, a couple years ago, the, the reason why I bought it was because it mentioned that Peter Hodgkinson, the drummer of, T the brother of Tim Hodgkinson, of Henry Cow is on this. So I said, okay, that interests me. Now this record is pretty primitive psychedelic. It tells the story in great detail in the booklet inside. Um, some Spanish teenagers met some, uh, you know, Europeans in the service, something like that and they start jamming and then one thing leads to another and they're able to make a record. So this record has a primitive element to it that gives it a wildness and a free, free, um, yeah, it's primitive and wild and, and very cool as a result. Um, the music falls apart actually in places. So I, I imagine that might have something to do with why it was not ever released or maybe limited release, but this Wawa reissue, you folks know that label, it's just fantastic. It comes with a full, heavy um, booklet of um, information translated in three or four languages. Very comprehensive information about the band comes with a poster of the cover. Real nice package. I do love stuff like this. 
and it also came with a um, seven inch as well. So um, seemed appropriate to show that. Back on the French tip, though, yeah, the Patrick Vianne is cool. Here's one I'm gonna play that I don't ever hear anyone talk about. Melody, Yesterlife. I looked them up and I can't find them. Whenever I see the album, it goes for a lot of money. But this is actually good. It's symphonic with the female vocals that, that are actually good and good songs, not corny. Thank goodness. Um, I just ran across this years ago and just looking at it, knew that it was the sort of thing that I was looking for. And uh, I plan to visit this today. It's been a long time since I've played it, but um, French Prague on the Vogue label. This nice, Patrick Vianne. I've shown this before. I really like this guitar player, Jean-Pierre Labrador. He's nothing great, but I just like he's tasty. And here's his band Coincidence. This looks like this is a, like a private pressing or like really limited disc trombla or a small label. This is jazz rock, and this is sweet. It makes me think of uh, a guitar version of Il Barre Centro. Really, really lovely melodies. Coincidence. This is. I love this album, and I have this a song off of here. Uh, Sequences is almost always on my Walkman or my favorites. Something that I love. This is another album by Alain Renaud that um, I used to have the one that um, that Fred that you showed, and I had them. but I still have this one out of time. Yeah, on Eurus. This is some good stuff. Absolutely. Alain Renault. Um, I just wanted to show this one. Um, I have the uh, the three main Pulsar albums. Uh, Halloween, Strength of the Future, and this one. This is delicate and just excellent. Pollen. Just fantastic. Just fantastic. Etrant Foulet Leblanc was mentioned. Guigou Chenevier. I'm pretty sure I got that right, was in the band, Guigou Chenevier, and with Sophie Josseron. I just was playing this. So this is, I don't know what this is about. I mean, it, but it's musically just really, it's like stepping into a place. The music seems to define a place. I love this. Rec Rec music. I'm somehow thinking that's related to recommended records out of England. Here's a clear light that I don't... Yeah, an early clear light. Visions. Cyril Vido. This one's on Polydor. The artwork is very appropriate for the music. It's perfect, actually. Another Zool-related album that I, again, have only, I've only seen my copy, NYL. This again is on Eurus. Very collectible label out of, well, I, for me it's collectible, Eurus. This is fantastic. It's a neat, neat picture on the back, the little uh, butterfly girl. This is fantastic, very Zool and wild. It's got this rock and roll freak out kind of like we're at a party where everybody's dropped acid and there's people beating on bongos and shit. There's that vibe to some of this too, along with the Zool. This is very unique and fantastic. NYL. Yannick Top is on here. Bernard Lavial is on here. I heard that name mentioned. Ariel Kalma is on here. Look at this. Yeah, no wonder this is so good. This is fantastic. Another one. Ose Adonia on egg. Just really very, very cool. 
Arif Bicar, Richard Pinhas is on here, and Francois Auger. So it's really like Heldon backing this cat up. Another fantastic cover that really fits the music. A couple more. Yeah, I have the Typhong as well. And uh, at first I was under the impression that the band was led by the uh, Vietnamese, but no, as you said, uh, Fred, the guy is a superstar, I didn't know. And their big song, Sister Jane, is on here. Potemkin, this band's been talked about. What I wanted to point out was, though, is that I'm, I've had this for a long time, and I saw the orange label on Dave's, and I'm wondering, I think this is the first pressing. I've had this Voxagrav. I know I've had this close to his, I don't know how long. I mean, it's been 20, 20, 25 or so years. I'm thinking this is the uh, first pressing of it. Fantastic. Wish I could find their other albums. This is just fun to have space art. Really uh, kind of goofy, you know, music to me. But uh, just love the cover and glad to have it. And um, I want to keep it short so I'm not waiting all morning for it to upload in case I want to do another video. If I don't see you all again, have a great weekend. Enjoy whatever it is you're doing. Glad you survived Black Friday.